Today, we learn how to do basic color correction in CapCut PC using the Adjustments tab. Let's jump in. Start by adding your clip to the timeline. Once it's selected, head to the Adjustments tab in the right side editing panel. Here's where you'll find the essential tools for tweaking your clip's look. First up is Temperature. Moving the slider toward the yellow side adds warmth to your footage, giving it a cozy, sunlit feel. If you move it toward the blue side, it cools down the footage, making it look more icy or neutral, which works great for cooler overcast tones. Next, we have Tint. Sliding this towards green will give your video a greenish tint, which can make the scene feel more eerie or unnatural. On the other hand, pushing it toward magenta adds a pinkish hue, warming up the image and giving it a softer, more balanced look. Then there's Saturation. If you increase the saturation, you'll notice the colors become more intense and vibrant, which can make your footage pop. Lowering it desaturates the colors, turning your clip more muted and giving it that cinematic, film-like vibe. Moving on to exposure, sliding this to the right will brighten up the overall clip, helping if the video is too dark or underexposed. If you move it to the left, it will darken the clip which can be helpful for correcting overexposed footage or creating a more dramatic moody effect. For contrast, increasing this will make the bright areas brighter and the dark areas darker, giving your video more depth and dimension. Lowering it softens the difference between light and dark, which can create a flatter, less dynamic look. Now let's look at highlights. If you slide this to the right, it brightens up the brightest parts of your video helping you recover details from areas that might be too washed out or overexposed. Sliding it to the left darkens those areas, which can give your video a more balanced and controlled look. The shadow slider works similarly, but focuses on the darker parts of the footage. Moving it to the right will brighten the shadows, helping you reveal hidden details in those low light areas. If you slide it to the left, it deepens the shadows, which can add more drama and contrast to your clip. Next is Whites, which controls the brightest tones of your video. If you move it to the right, it increases the brightness of those tones, giving your clip a more vibrant, lighter feel. If you slide it to the left, it decreases the intensity of the Whites, helping you reduce any overly bright areas that might distract from the subject. Then we have Blacks, Moving this to the right lightens the darkest parts of your video, which can help reveal more details in the shadows. If you move it to the left, it deepens the blacks, making them richer and more pronounced, perfect for a dramatic effect or evening out lighting. Finally, brilliance enhances the overall lighting of your clip. Sliding it to the right subtly boosts the vibrancy and brightness making everything look more alive and vivid without overdoing it. If you slide it to the left, the overall effect becomes more subdued, which can give your video a more neutral, toned down look. Play around with these sliders to find the perfect balance for your clip. If you are new to color correction, start with small adjustments to see how each tool affects your video. Once satisfied, preview your edits to ensure they look natural and cohesive. And that's it. You've got the basics of color correction down in CapCut PC. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more CapCut editing tips.